Cooperation against terrorism is being tackled at the ongoing ASEAN summit in Laos. At least one analyst believes there's one issue ASEAN member states must overcome first before they can fight terrorism together. Jackie Pasquale tells us more. Bangkok in 2015, Jakarta early this year, Kuala Lumpur a few months ago, and Davao just last week. These are just some of the recent attacks in key cities in Southeast Asia, triggering a chilling effect in a region that is said to be one of the terror hubs of the world. Terrorism is also one of the hot topics at the ASEAN summit in Laos, with President Duterte earlier urging ASEAN to work together to fight terrorism. But for international security expert Romel Banlawi, ASEAN must first overcome mutual suspicions which are hindering intelligence sharing among ASEAN member states. Between Malaysia and the Philippines, we, have we still have mutual suspicions because of existing territorial disputes over Sabah. Each member in ASEAN uh, has their own border problems with each other. But one good sign, Banlawi says, is the Trilateral Border Patrol Agreement of the Philippines, Indonesia, and Malaysia, which was signed just two months ago. He says this replicates the success of a similar border agreement of Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia at the Malacca Strait. Armed Forces of the Philippines Public Affairs Chief Colonel Edgar Arevalo says partnering with ASEAN neighbors can help boost counterterrorism efforts in the region. Three countries have decided to really pull their resources together to counter this threat. Uh, increased incidents of kidnap for ransom involving Indonesian and Malaysian uh, nationals uh, being abducted by armed groups and being transferred to the southern Philippines. Yung mga training na rin ng sundalo natin, nakasama natin na nagtitrain ang ibang armed forces. Um, we also do information sharing. Arevalo adds terror groups in the Philippines are declining and he reveals the military targets to eradicate the Abu Sayyaf in three to six months. And amid text messages and social media posts on supposed attacks, the armed forces says there are no terror threats in Metro Manila and other cities across the country. But Arevalo clarifies the public should not be complacent. If you see a suspicious bag or person, Arevalo has this advice. Reporting it to the nearest government authorities or security forces, but please, not in social media. Because posting it in social media will not do any help. It will just trigger speculation. Terrorism remains a concern for ASEAN and leaders must now find new ways to combat this recurring problem. Fighting terrorism is a big task in Southeast Asia, but the Philippine military says they are ready and they urge the public to be cooperative and to remain vigilant wherever they go. Jackie Pasquale, ABS-CBN News. The police say